Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula and in today's video we're going to be talking about turning your PowerPoint presentation into a PDF document. And this way it can be used as an ebook if you don't want to be sitting there for hours and days writing an ebook from scratch and you already have created a PowerPoint video, you already have the foundations of what you need to turn it into a little ebook or a report. Now, before we head on over there, how about you smash that like button, hit subscribe, as well as press that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. So let's head on over there now, eh? All right, now, in this part of the video, this is going to be where the rubber meets the road. Now, we're going to have to do a little bit of formatting before we can uh, go ahead and create our ebook, but it is really exciting at this point. Now I want to show you what we have on the screen right now because right now you're looking at a zoom effect. Now allow me to show you what I what I mean by that. I have I'm going to actually be putting a link down below and with that you'll be able to I'll show you exactly how to do it in that link. So yeah, when you get a chance after you've uh, watched this video, go down check out that link and you'll learn how I actually created this. Now, all we have to do is go from the beginning and I'll show you what the effect actually looks like. It is really cool. Now, if I push the downward button just here, we get to scroll straight in like that and it zooms. It's such a cool effect. And then we go out through our slide and then when we finish the slide, we zoom out and then zoom to the next slide. Now, the reason I'm telling you about this is because I'm going to be using that section as a clickable link on how to like you know like a clickable table of contents. Now one thing we need to do is we'll go back to the beginning and we need to format this. Now one thing I'm going to do is first thing I have to do really is change the size of this font here and I'm going to be making that I'm going to go over here and I'm going to be making that 24 and I'm going to drag this all the way down here and I'm going to make this perhaps um, 32 I'm going to drag that down a bit to about there approximately I'm going to highlight that over the top of the video one and make that bigger I might make that one 40 so as it stands out and then I'm going to bolden that but before I do that actually I need to change the, the word from video to chapter and then I'm going to literally do that on every single video now I'm not going to bore you with me doing this all the way through so I'm going to pause the video and then after I pause the video we're going to come back and we're going to continue creating the ebook. So bear with me until I've done that. Okay, now that I've finished doing the formatting in this section here, what we need to do is we need to add a cover image. Now, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to go over here to the left hand pane. I'm now going to right click on that and I'm now going to go down to where it says new slide and I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to right click here and I'm now going to go over here where it says layout and I'm going to go click blank and now I'm going to take this one to the very top. Now at this particular point in time I am going to insert, go to the insert button and I'm going to insert a picture and it's going to be from this device and I'm going to choose this image right here. That is perfect. Now. I am just going to click away from there. Now this is where the fun starts. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to go and hit the design button. We need to click on that. And over here on the right hand side of the design button, you'll see where it says slide size. Now we just click on that and we go down to where it says custom. So we click on that. Now where it says widescreen just here, and you'll have that on uh, Microsoft Office 365 where it says widescreen you click on that and you go down to where it says 
uh, letter paper which is 8.5 by 11 and you click on that. Make sure that you also, where it says slides, make sure you turn it portrait and then you hit OK. And then over here when this pops up, make sure it says ensure fit and then you hit that. And this is what you have. Now I'm going to expand this up substantially and make that quite a bit bigger so as it covers a larger portion of the screen. That will do just nicely. Okay, now when we scroll down, you'll notice that some of the formatting has changed and it's not as pretty as it used to be. But that's okay because this is fairly easy to fix. I'm just going to click on there and from here, I'm now going to go over to View. I'm now going to go over to this bar right here where it says Slide Master. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on this and literally just delete it. We don't need it. And then I'm going to click off this Slide Master button right here where it says Close Slide Master View. Click off that. And there it is. It has gone. If we scroll down, you will notice it is perfectly fine. And we now have a image of all these different things. Now, one of the things you might need to do, you may need to consider changing the position of some of the letters in comparison to this line just here, like this one here. I can readjust that so as it goes like that. And it's just a matter of reformatting a little bit here and there, just going through and changing it up. Now, once you have done all of this, I'm going to pause the video and quickly do this because I think it would drive me, my OCD would be driven nuts if I don't fix this up now. Okay, we're back. I had to do that formatting, otherwise it would have driven me nuts. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to go and fix, turn this literally into an ebook. It's a really, really simple process. All we have to do is go over here to File. Then all we have to do is go down to where it says export. We click on that. And if you don't already have Adobe, then you won't necessarily have this button right here. But underneath it, you have create PDF XPS documents. And then you click on that. And we wait for it. I'm going to put this on my desktop right here. And I'm going to hit publish. And in just a moment, a little dialog box will pop up here. There it is. We just let that sit there until it has finished rendering and turning it into a ebook. And here it is right in front of our face. Now, let's just shrink this down a little bit so we can have a better view of it. Might turn it down to maybe 75% so we get a better view of what it looks like. And here it is. And as we scroll down, you can see this is my ebook. Now, if we want to, we can click on this, and guess what? It takes me to a chapter. It is literally a clickable link. It's literally a clickable table of content. So if I want to go here, I can click on that, and I am now in this section here. I'm now on chapter 11. Now, if I go back up here again, just drag that all the way to the top, and any choice I want, I can go to this chapter here, which is chapter 9. So I can go along and go to any chapter I want. It is literally that easy. And there you have it. You have a completed ebook from PowerPoint to ebook. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Now, remember to leave a like and smash that like button and also press subscribe as well as hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Alright guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching and bye for now.